find one more field phase win here to get this burst. We're gonna see the counter burst. This is a scary situation. And that's gonna be a great, but it's not gonna be a conversion. One more hit, one more hit. The chip is out. And All right, guys. So, just came back from Wells, and after a week of Wells, like four days or so of playing Pokemon and seeing all the Pokemon stuff, you thought I'd be uh, tired of it. But at the moment, <laughs> I really like the game at the moment again. But yeah, I got back home from Wells, and then a couple of days later, uh, the pre-release kit happened. Uh, well, not pre-release kit. Lost Origin just came out, so I thought, why not open some packs? So I got two pre-release kit and six packs, so, which is cool. Also, uh, I finally got my play out from Lil, and i tell you what, it's absolutely insane. And what I got is a Genesect play mat. I mean, looks just look how cool this is. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, the we waited like two months or three months after our Lil tournament. And fun fact, apparently people in Wales were selling these mats for uh, 300 pounds or yeah, 300 pounds or 100 pounds, I can't remember, but something big. So at the moment they're going to eBay for like 50 quid plus, but at the here the moment of Wales, it was going crazy. So we got our play mat after like waiting for three months for it. And we got our boss's order with the championship. So that's awesome. So yeah. Uh, Let's not waste any time and open some pre-release kit. All right, so yeah, we got our pre-release kit. Honestly, don't know anything about this set. Don't think the set is that good, but people have been saying it's pretty good with the whole uh, Giratina stuff and uh, Zorak. So yeah, uh, yeah. Other than that, it's all right. It seems cool, but I haven't seen anything that like shocked the world so far. The best deck after well, when the set is released, is still gonna be. Um, what do you call Majig? Uh, Palkia and Arceus variants and Mew. I mean, that and then maybe Giratina people say it could be quite good, but I don't think it's as good as people think it is, anyway. So, yeah, let's get started with our pack opening. So, uh, I went to Worlds going for when I went to Worlds, I was only there for the um, what was it? Okay. Oh, oh, nice, nice. Um, comfy, very good reverse holder, which is nice. Uh, it's one of the main card to use in Giratina control. If it focused right properly, I'm going to make it perfect. With its attack, with its ability, uh, flower selecting once per turn. If this Pokemon is in the active spot, you may look at the top two cards and then put one into your hand and the other one lost. And so that's pretty cool. So yeah, we got that. We got a Zorak V, which is nice as well, because that's apparently one of the pop, uh, main V of the deck of the set. This and Giratina, and the rest of the V is like air bang average, but yeah, so that's cool. And then we got sort of nothing, but yeah, I in my I went to Wells just because it's in UK, and I thought I have to go there after going to all these competition. I have to go to the end result, you know. But uh, uh, but then I went there for the opening, and oh my god. Did extremely well. Uh, do we have another hit though? Yeah. Did extremely well. I... What did I did? I went... On day one, I went undefeated. I went four... I almost went undefeated until the last round. Oh, I went four and oh, and then looked, drew two. And uh, got absolutely destroyed to a Rapid Strike, Zebra Strike deck. But fun fact, the guy that beat me ended up came and coming third on Swiss. I mean, he's third at the tournament. So I'm like, okay, that's fair enough. I, I, I mean, I got absolutely trashed. But the deck, his deck was insane. Never seen anything like that. So, yeah. And then I play against this. Uh, and then on day one, I play against my friend, Alan, who was playing Malamar. And I was quite annoyed about it just because... Um, <laughs> 
he, he what did he do? Uh, he ain't be. He, it went to a draw just because he managed to dead draw, but then Manaphy and then rescue carried the Manaphy back onto a bench. So I was like, great, I can't uh, get rid of it, which is quite annoying. But eh, it's okay. Oh, Pikachu! What? That did okay. Yeah. Sick. Um, honestly, don't know anything about this set, but the artwork is insane. I mean, I got a Pikachu uh, that's meant to be uh, from Arceus Legend, so that's cool. I'm really happy with that. And first time to see, I didn't know there was like artwork or a T uh, train gallery stuff on it still. So it's, I'll tell you what, for my pre-release kit, pretty smashed it. But yeah, so then day two, I was like, yes, yeah, sick. I'm on the. I'm on like 17 points or 15 points i was like yeah life is great and then i play against um uh saptos ccg which is insane watch his content so it's really nice to play against someone like well known in the pokemon community so uh he was playing um reggie and game one he beat me because i should have benched a mana feed to stop his uh Reggie Lecky, but it was my first time playing against it uh, in real life. So then game two, I benched a man of feet, and then I won. Game three, went to time all around, and he kind of dead draw, and I made sure to echo and horn his uh, uh, Reggie, so he had two Reggie down, and after he burned out his net. So that was quite nice to do. But yeah, he went to a draw, which is quite annoying. I sure won, but hey, I was happy that I played against him, so that's cool. And then, by the way, I was playing Palkia because it, in my eyes, Palkia is the best deck, and I didn't have enough time to test. So Palkia was like, "Oh, oh Radiant Steelers." Um, yeah. So, uh, what, what, what does this card even do? It looks awesome, but I never read this card. Uh, one energy attached up to two metal energy from its scar pile to this Pokemon. That's pretty naughty. And then. Um, Six, six, six. And then what's the bomb attack? Two f metal, one colorless. This this guy card from the top of the deck until only one card remain. This card cards from your top of the deck until only one card remains. This attack does fade out for each energy sky. What? That's pretty. I mean, that's pretty dumb, but it's pretty naughty. I like it. I like it. It's a. a Hell Mary deck. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, oh, and that, I don't think. Oh, this card's pretty cool. I think it's like to help mill your opponent. So this is like the meant to be a new Bryson man, uh, better Bryson man. So that's quite cool. But yeah, I tell you what, that's quite good. What we pulled in our first pre-release kit of uh, Lost Origin. Okay, and then let's just open our free bonus pack. Yeah, so uh, Pokemon World was insane. And so then after playing against uh, Saptor CG, I was like quite gassed and I was like quite annoyed. But at the same time, uh, he's a cool guy and I play against, so I play someone. Then uh, I play in round eight, I play against this guy called Louis, uh, UK player. So funny. Uh, nice guy. And then, oh my God, another Radiant. Okay, so it seemed like I just needed to get a Radiant Gullivore to complete the Radiant set from this. So that's cool. And uh, let's just quickly read this bad boy. Uh, I don't even know. Oh, during your upkeep, uh, put two damage count on your opponent poison Pokemon. Put two more damage. I'll say if your Pokemon's poison, then it does. And then, uh, yeah, not bad. So, yeah, that was quite cool. And uh, and then I'm playing, yeah, uh, a Duraldon on deck in round eight. And I was like, oh my god, uh, not a, the, one of the most brain dead deck to play. All you need to do is just decide whether to go, uh, what's it called, whether to go, oh, what was it? Whether to Hyper Potion or not. It's essentially how to play the deck because it's, it's so tanky. Uh, but yeah, play against him, British player, funny, great guy. And yeah, um, he went to game three and oh my god, I thought I was going to leave just because I kind of brick, but it was nice. Oh, look at this Pikachu. Such a cool artwork. Uh, yeah, so that's cool. And so, so far, my whole event has been really fun. I've been great. Eight. My opponent has been awesome. Haven't played any, like, annoying custom... Oh, no, annoying, annoying players that would, like, try to shark you or anything. So that was really cool. Oh, 
Oh. Uh, Parasite. Parasite, that's cool. And then uh, Dare Fox V. Full Art. Um, your opponent. Da, 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 put two. Energy attaches Pokemon and Lawson does 120. So 240 for free energy. Yeah, it's not the. It's not good, but I'll tell you what. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so, uh, uh, so uh, my record was like, I think I was like four, one, four, four wins, one loss, two draws. I think three draws, three draws. So I was like, okay, still undefeated, which is great, I guess. And then I was playing against. Gabriel Smart, he's like a YouTuber slash Twitch streamer, and he did in he t I think he came like top twentieth in Worlds, so I was like I'm playing against like technically top twenty best player, and um, game he was playing Mew game one he destroyed me game two it went uh I won because I managed to right hand cross switcher bring something out and knock out, and then game three. Uh, game three, he was going to win, but then time was called, and I was like, okay, rather than like both, we was both on 18 points, rather than like we both get 19 points and get nothing, I would get the same amount of points we did, yeah. I decided to give the guy a win because he's, he's a nice guy, and I, feel like, and I did watch his video, so I thought, hey, uh, I'm playing against one, one of the people I watched, so I was like, that's quite cool already, so I was happy, and then he ended up coming like top 30, I think, in the open, uh, but. Uh, if I had 19, because I checked the uh, Swiss standing, 19th, I mean 19 points, I wouldn't get any points extra. So I was glad to give someone else that. Uh, Marwile, Slugma, Rare Camp, Spirit 2. Cool. Okay, so so far we've fallen pretty good. I saw all my friends pulling their uh, Lost Origin stuff at my local, and they have been terrible. Um, so it's nice to see me actually pouring something good. So I must have got like the good part. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, Worlds was one experience. So now I'm kind of like saving up to go to, um, what you call, to Yokohama in Japan. I know I'm butchering the name, yeah. But yeah, Worlds Championships in Japan. So I really can't wait for that. Will we get, oh, also, I want to get a Gengar promo. Yes, we got a Gengar. I think this is like the best uh, looking and probably the best uh, pre-release uh, promo. I think, I haven't seen much, or seen like the only thing I've seen is these two and the fish. And that's it. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, hopefully I'll qualify and get enough point to go to Worlds. Uh, at the moment, they haven't released Worlds. Uh, about the uh, locals and player cup I think it's just any regional at the moment which is quite annoying but hey uh, gotta play the game uh, yeah nothing cool I don't think this card is even good look at the top of the card you're there. you may switch that card with one of your face down price God. look at the top card of your deck, you may switch that card with one of your face and prize. <laughs> Never seen that before, but it seems cool. Uh, so this is one of the card people you'd be uh, to play the uh, Zorak because if Zorak V Star does like damage equal to a number of um, V Star, uh, an amount of damage counter on it. Uh, so it's synergy with this, like can spread the damage, spread the damage, spread the wealth. <laughs> So that's cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know when's the next regional I'm going to. I think everyone, all my friends been saying to go to Liverpool. So it's either Liverpool, then Lille, Malmo, and maybe EUIC is in London. So I was, people have been saying, so hopefully it'll be like that. Uh, GIF Energy, that's cool. Matt Choke, Failing, Polywag, Audish, Growlithe, C Dot. Electric and oh Giratina just the Vida so we got a, two of the main Pokemon of the set so that's cool uh, Giratina is really awesome because uh, the V star allows you to do 280 damage and great synergy with the whole lost zone mechanic they tried to infuse in this set so that's cool so yeah 
so far so good i just didn't want to pull a v star uh now <laughs> i pulled a lot of v but no v star so hopefully it changed now jinx basculin oh bronzor phalanx zaru polywaf and oh mirrorgate mirrorgate is absolutely broken if you haven't read this card if you have seven or more cards in your loss so so it should deck for up to two basic energy with different type of attached them insane anything with energy acceleration especially as a trainer is a is <laughs> it's, it's, it's too good <laughs> okay so we have like four more packs now we're still hunting for our first v or um First V or V, well, first V star or like another uh, train gallery stuff. Okay, Miss Fortune Sister, Michelle, Lake Apcuti, all Pokemon that has uh, water and f or fighting energy attached, takes 20 damage less from your. Oh, that's not bad. Reduction for those two types, that's cool. Inke, Chinx, Basculin, Mayetta. Bronzo, Gloomy, and Politoed. Okay. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. we still got f four more packs, and three more packs. I hope everyone's all good. I just haven't been posting much just because I've uh, been busy, and I kind of was, like, just relaxing uh, instead of playtesting. So when I was at Worlds, I haven't even... Uh, I uh, played my deck in real life, which was quite odd for me first time it happened. But then turns out I did the best. <laughs> uh, Fire Energy, Gloom, Gastrodon, Arc Phone, Zoru, ba Bonacle, Gloomy, Bronzo, oh, tra uh, Trey Gary, um, Spirit 2, and we got a Dark Rai. Uh, I'm pretty sure this guy's not that bad. If this Pokemon is knocked out from your attack, your opponent. Uh, it's knocked out by your opponent attack. Uh, search your deck for a card and put that into your hand. And this attack does 60 more damage for each spirit stream in your discard part. So you play it with the ditto. And the most it can do is probably do 4 times 6. Uh, so 250. Not bad for one price deck, but you have to keep getting it. That's but it's, 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 it's cute. I think that's the best way of saying it, rather than saying the deck is trash. It's cute. <laughs> Bear in mind, this is all my first time. I, I rarely look at Japanese, I mean, uh, new set, unless it's unless I'm playing competitive for a bit, but at the moment, uh, rotation's going to happen. Don't know when, but it's going to happen, and I, that's why, I, and I haven't, I'm not going to any more events for the time being, so I kind of like, kind of like, for A, hey, I can just relax and not get into it as hyped as I should be. Uh, Psych Energy, uh, Fantina, that's cool. Gif Energy, Abomb Snow, Slugma, Tino, Lito, Leo, Mewtwo, Litwick, Virebloom, and will we get something cool? <laughs> yes i tell you what the first time i recorded without a face cap i'm pulling amazing so i must just start doing this more often <laughs> so, but yeah we got the gear let's just look let's just see how cool this card actually is uh, so it's 280 uh hp and its attack is one f um f grass energy one psych energy one colorless that's 280, then put two energy attached to this Pokemon into your loss zone. Yeah, so 280, big damage, a choice belt, and you can knock out a new VMAX or random stuff. So that's cool, you can do 310. Uh, the V-Star ability is pretty nutty as well. One Psychic and one Grass. You can only use this attack once. Uh, the, uh, you can use the attack only if you have 10 or more cards in a loss zone, and your opponent Pokemon is instantly knocked out. So, uh, you play cards like that. Where is it? The energy acceleration onto it uh, to banish it to a loss zone. You play like the comfy uh, this Pokemon, and then to put cards into your loss zone, and then you put this, and then you do two eighty 
put your two energy and then you use your um, V star for the extra lockout. So that's why I will the stuff in uh, Lost Origin, guaranteeing that it's probably the best version of the deck. I mean, best uh, best Pokemon, best deck to come out of uh, Lost Origin is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Okay, so we finally got a V star, so I'm happy with that. To be honest, yeah. Happy days from my two pre release kit. I can't really ask for them anymore. The only thing I can ask you is if I get two V star. Will we get two V star or get a hit, a, get a training gallery stuff? Uh, <laughs> damage pump, Dotler, Seedra, Love Disc, Gale Girl, Womble, Rhyhorn. Uh, Marcro, Growlithe, and we got, I've never seen this Pokemon, what was it? Oh, it's the horse of the uh, Ice Rider. Yeah, so that's cool. But yeah, overall, we pulled, we pulled, ooh, ooh. It disgustingly good. We got a Giratina V-Star, nice. We got a playable reverse side, which is always good. Dale Fox V, which is... Just a cool artwork. Not a fan of the Pokemon. I think it's really ugly. Uh, <laughs> we got Paraset, uh, Spirit Tomb as our uh, training gallery. We got uh, we got two um, Radiant cards, which is insane for my collection. So all I need is just the Garnivore in this set, and just need to pick up a Radiant Venusaur just to complete the whole set. Uh, we got the Pikachu, which is insane. Uh, probably not a good card, but it's just like a cool artwork for fan. So that's cool. Uh, we've got obviously a Giratina to match with our Giratina V stuff, which is sick. Uh, all Beetle, don't know what it does, but it can't be asked to read it. And we got Zoro. So yeah, and we got, in my eyes, the best promo of the whole Origin. Well, the only one I've seen that I thought I like the picture, and it's Gengar, one of the coolest Pokemon in the set. So yeah. Whew. Overall, uh, good packs. And uh, just to summarize the whole video, Worlds was insane. Uh, play against really good players, play against this girl. Oh my god, what's her name? Uh, Bay Bayonet. <laughs> uh, she literally she just net decked the deck that came first in Worlds, no, second place in Worlds, and it was insane. It was one of the hardest matchups. Um, she was playing Ark, uh, Pikachu with uh, Eevee, and it was sick. The deck was sick, but uh, I managed to win just because she bricked and opened up with a Hisarian Decidueye, and I managed to play around it. But yeah, she was really cool, and she came f top 16, I can't remember, but she did the same. But yeah, overall, it was insane. Wells was insane. I wish I could record more of the ending when they did the last ceremony but it's because since the opening was happening and i was trying to get my points they didn't have uh people was queuing getting the seats and everything on the stage and there was no way of getting it out but when they did the announcement it was really cool people everyone's going crazy for the pokemon vgc um with the scarlet and violet so that was cool uh what else was happening when they announced what did they not, that when they announced the ex the whole crowd was going wild i wish i recorded it just because everyone was going nerd up on it which was sick which was sick happy days with it i mean i'm happy with ex makes everything so much nicer cleaner you don't have to keep benching a two prize pokemon risking for a knockout because you have to evolve it like how many times you have like you bench a ushi field bench at arcus v your opponent will go bosses all the knock it out so it's it's, it's not nice to do while EX is like you evolve it after playing on like stage one on one prize Pokemon after one prize Pokemon you evolve it, evolve it and then you drop your EX so I think that's really nice to have that that mechanic's been 10 years so that's cool and then the best announcement was Wells was happening in Japan in Yokohama I think I'm, I'm no I'm bitching it but when it was happening, uh, there was like a Japanese family in front of me. And when they announced, when they show you the little trailer for Worlds uh, that's happening in Kanto, the place where it's all built, where it's all uh, come from Kanto, which was inf influenced by Yokohama, which was sick. Uh, the Japanese family in front of me, the two little kids was going crazy, jumping around. It's like, mommy, daddy, 
a world is coming home and I was like this is insane but yeah uh, thank you for watching I did pretty good on my pre-release kit and hopefully I'll, I'll do some more video more recently I mean more frequently now rather than doing once every month or once every two or three months since the last upload but yeah uh, thank you for watching and I'll be back guys I'll see you in a bit peace Let's <laughs> go.